Thanks for joining me. I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to use some of the advanced brush and tool controls in Corel Painter 2020. If you find that you're constantly switching between a brush that paints and a brush that can blend, you'll be happy to know that you can now quickly toggle between two brushes using the last used brush button in the properties bar. So as you can see, when I click this button, it toggles back and forth between coarse oily blender and glazing bristle. In addition to the button in the properties bar, you can also invoke your last used brush using a keyboard shortcut, a button on your pen, an express key, or you could create a custom palette command. If you'd like to create a custom shortcut for this command, you'll want to look under Edit, Preferences, Customize Keys, and then look under Application Menus, and then under Brushes, and there's Select Previous Variant. I could set that to Control-Alt-Y, for example, and now if I hit Control-Alt-Y on my keyboard, then it's going to switch between the coarse oily blender and the glazing bristle each time I hit that key on my keyboard. If you'd like to create a custom palette shortcut, you can go to the window menu, custom palette, and then add command. Now you can select from any custom palettes that you've already created here, or you can choose new. Next, I'm going to select the command I want from the menu bar. So I'm gonna to go to brushes, and then I can choose select previous variant. I will click on Add, and OK. That creates a new custom palette up in the top left that has a button that says Select Previous Variant. And if I click on that, then I can toggle between my paintbrush and my blender. For those of you who love to erase, you'll be happy to know that you can now customize the eraser tool. Instead of your basic hard edge or round edge eraser, you can now choose from a wide range of different dab profiles. And you can also customize the size and opacity properties. You can even go into the advanced brush controls, and you can use the general panel to make captured dabs and other types of erasers. So for example, I could change the shape of the dab profile. I could add some stroke jitter. I could change the size properties. I could create some more spacing. And now this could be my eraser. So right now I'm using the eraser on my Wacom pen, which has also selected the eraser tool. So now if I start painting, anytime I want to erase, I can flip over and I can use that custom eraser that I created, and that's now my default eraser. And last but not least, we'll take a look at some of the enhanced tools in Curl Painter 2020. If we go to the Dodge and Burn tools here in the toolbar, we can now paint with the Dodge, Burn, and Clone tools without any lag time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out some of my other demonstrations of Painter 2020's top features.